Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. It is spring. Carpenter bees are out there drilling holes in your home right now. Termites, well, they're swarming around. And if you're seeing them, that means they've probably already got a colony going and they're eating away at your home. Protect your home by calling Southeast Termite and Pest Control. One, if you've got these little devils, they can kill them. Two, if you don't have these little devils, they can prevent them. Southeast Termite and Pest Control, that's who I use at my home. Check them out, southeasttermite.com. Okay, let's go straight to the graphics here. Let's talk about the NFL talent on the current Tennessee roster. Some of these guys could be coached up and wow us all. You never know. Uh, but for now, I'm going to pick some seniors and some third-year guys who have contributed, some guys who've started, basically. Uh, who, who out of this list, the seniors, are sure thing prospects for next year's draft? And I put Keller Christ up there because he chance he could be your starting quarterback. None of us have seen him at UT. Uh, who up there looks like, yes, he will be a pro? If he would stay healthy, Shy Tuttle. You say that if he would stay healthy, that's where I would go, Shy I think Kirkland, mm -hmm. but it's another health thing. Mm -hmm. So when you say surefire, my answer is zero. Yeah. Yep. Because you have I, I to mean, qualify is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. if they stay healthy. If Kongbo decides that he wants to play hard, if. There are a lot of ifs up there. I think Kyle Phillips is tracking the right direction. I do too. He'd be my guy. Kongbo, I think, will get drafted because you always see guys, even if he doesn't have a great year, because people are going to look at that. They're going to look yeah, at his yeah, measurables. Well, athleticism. You see it every year where they're like, well, this team couldn't get at him in college, but maybe the pros can. Uh, anybody stand out to you? There is no surefire, but uh, if you do start to make some assumptions, uh, Kirkland would probably be the first name. Kyle Phillips, the fact that the staff awarded him with uh, being the most improved defensive player, maybe that's a good sign of where he could be next spring. I do like Tuttle if healthy. Let's take a look at the third year possibilities. These guys are juniors or third year sophomores. Uh, you see John Jennings up there who got a medical red shirt now. I don't think if he does what he expected to do, I don't think that's going to matter for Tennessee. I think he's gone. Uh, in terms of the sure things up there, again, if I think if John Jennings keeps his nose clean and does the right things, yes. I think he's probably up there. Nigel Warrior. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But thin mm -hmm. list. In terms of sure things, yeah. I'm, I'm close, but not quite there on the Thule. I had a, I was doing this thing for the preseason it's magazine stuff, back. picking all SEC team, and one of the coaches in the league told me that you need to put Patuli no worse than second, not no worse, you need to put him on the second team all SEC. Really? For a linebacker. Uh, really likes him. Hmm. So Patuli, I would be pretty close on him. Daryl Taylor's another guy athletically that would impress NFL teams, for sure. No, nobody mentioned Callaway? Again, he hasn't, he hasn't yeah. shown the consistency, but he's another one like Kongbo that I think you can look at and go, well, here are four plays that look spectacular, and look at the measurables. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good one. It's a good one. I don't see any sure things on that list. A Nigel Warrior is probably, to me, the closest you've got. The, the one th sure thing is several of those guys will go because we saw it this year that you, you wonder yeah. why. Somebody why surprising, some somebody go. surprising somebody will go. go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. All right. Uh, when we come back, Jason Witt considering retirement. A lot of people say it's a done deal. The Cowboys are giving him more time this weekend to figure that out. Um, if you retire, well, retire or not, where does he rank in terms of most popular VFLs? It's up there. Come on back, we'll discuss it.